Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanna talk about this really disturbing story. And once again, it's coming from Trailer Park Trash, Tennessee. I swear Tennessee has been on a roll in 2016, okay? So what's going down right now is that basically we have two 18 year old girls. They have both been arrested and charged for the murder of two people. One was 38 year old Eddie Tate and his girlfriend Adrena Thomas. She was 33 years old and she was also six to eight weeks pregnant. So what happened is that these two teenagers came up on Eddie, Eddie and Adrena in a car and they started blasting at them. Eddie was killed instantly in front of a lot of people, in front of a lot of kids. Edwina was taken to the hospital where she later on died and also her unborn baby died as well. They're also saying that Eddie was a father of six children. So this man literally lost his life to some BS. But now new reports are coming out that these girls killed these two people over a hair weave. Yes, over some damn Brazilian yakky hair is why this couple was killed. This entire situation is just so disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these two news clips. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Shot and killed over hair? That is what the family of E.J. Tate says about the murder that happened last week. You may recall we covered it. Police are still searching for the person who shot the couple in the 2100 block of Westchester Drive. WMC Action News 5's Rose Eckler is live now with some unusual motives behind this murder. Rose? Yeah, Joe, it's definitely unusual. And while police have not released a motive for the killing of EJ Tate, his girlfriend and their unborn child, family and friends say it may have been over Brazilian hair. For a two or three hundred dollar a bundle of hair to take someone life is not the right answer. Many questions still surround what happened in this parking lot on Friday night. Police say E.J. Tate and his girlfriend Edwina Thomas were shot while sitting in a car. Tate died on scene and Thomas died at the hospital. 18-year-old Victoria C. was arrested and charged with accessory after the fact after police say she drove the shooter away from the scene. They were such a tight couple. You know, if you saw one, you saw the other. She was a beautiful young lady. Family members described Tate as a loving father to a six-year-old little girl and a hard-working man. VirginHairForUs.com is Tate's business with his cousin. The website states that the company sells extensions, hair, and wigs, starting at $50 and going all the way up to $255. Family and friends feel both the driver and the shooter knew Tate and may have bought hair from him before. They feel this was an attempted robbery gone wrong. They didn't have to do this. If they wanted to have, I'm pretty sure, you know, he would say, hey, you can have this hair. You know, my life is not worth it. The family has a message for this shooter. You done wrong. You know, you devastated a family. You took away a father. You took away a son. You took away a nephew. You took away part of the community. 18-year-old Victoria C. was arrested and charged with accessory after the fact after police say she drove the shooter away from the scene. The shooter is still on the loose. Neighbors say they won't feel safe till that person is caught. Why did it have to be right at my front door? Now, neighbors tell me they have seen Tate and Thomas around this apartment complex before, but they weren't sure if they actually lived in the complex. Now, we did hear that C is out on out of jail on bond right now and is due in court on Monday. But police are asking that if you know who this shooter is or anything about what happened here on Friday to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 901-528. Just watched the news clip. You know, and this story just broke my heart. You know, initially when I heard about this murder, I really didn't understand what was going on. But to know that somebody lost their life over some hair weave it's like where have we gone in society to the point where we feel like we feel like some damn dead ass indian hair or brazilian hair or chinese hair is worth more than somebody's life you know this whole situation is just extremely disturbing what they're saying is that basically these girls were mad about the customer service so this is a black man who's taking control of his own destiny. He's running a business with his cousin. He's basically selling hair weaves. We complain all the time about the Asians selling hair weaves. So now this black man has gotten on the hair weave bandwagon and you know started his own company online. So these young girls bought some hair weave from him. They were not satisfied. Instead of taking it to civil court trying to get their money back, you know what I'm saying, or talking to this man. 
Instead of trying to come up to something amicable, these two girls decide to take matters into their own hands and they end up taking not one but three lives. This entire situation is just disturbing and the fact that these girls are 18 years old, they're gonna be charged as adults and they'll probably be put away for the rest of their life. It's just really sad that so many kids out here just lack emotional self-control. So because you're upset at bad customer service or because your yakky weave did not come out how you imagined it to come out, you decide to take somebody's life. This entire situation is just heartbreaking. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy story that's once again coming from Trailer Park Trash, Tennessee. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.